Good morning, this is Daily Devotions for March 23rd. Years ago, I read a chapter, I think, in one of Anne Lamott's books uh, called Why I Make Sam Go to Church, about why she takes her, took her son to church each Sunday. And I thought about that last night when I had my boys with me at the Lenten service at Grace Lutheran Church. One of the church ladies asked them, or thanked them, for staying for the service after the meal. And uh, <laughs> my oldest said, well, we want to be here, but we also have to be here. <laughs> my husband was working, and so they were tagging along. And um, bless their hearts, they were troopers, because this was the second time they had heard this sermon. But after the service, um, which was a beautiful service of Holden evening prayer, attended mostly by people who live on the streets. After the service, uh, they encountered a woman in the parking lot who was there with her dog. And um, they asked the dog's name. She invited the co them to come and pet the dog. And that led to probably a 20 minute conversation standing there in the parking lot with this woman who had all of her belongings piled into a trailer that she pulled with her bike. And then this precious dog who was her companion and also her, her bodyguard. And she was so loving and patient and um, hospitable to their, their questions, their curiosity, uh, transparent about um, the struggles she faced and how she had ended up where she did, but also um, gently corrected some of their misconceptions and assumptions. And I thought, this is why, right? This is why I think when I when I hear the verse that we sometimes use in communion or, or sing in the song, taste and see that the Lord is good, this is the kind of experience that I'm thinking about. When gathering with the body of Christ gives us the opportunity to see, to um, encounter, and to experience God's goodness. Um, my youngest talked about the lunches that they made at VBS last summer uh, for Grace Lutheran. And she said, I probably ate one of those lunches. Thank you. When they had the opportunity to um, encounter uh, the, the reality of what being church means in a particular life. And when church gave them the opportunity to hear uh, the, the testimony of somebody who lives a very different life than they do, I have a feeling this is a conversation that will be with them for the rest of their lives. I know for families, for busy families, it's sometimes hard to sort of figure out where church fits um, and how to make it a priority. There's so many things that we have our church involved in or our kids involved in that we can sort of see how they might be building a resume or how they might be preparing for them them for the future. You know, there are things that they can that they can list as their accomplishments and their achievements and it'll get them somewhere, we hope. With church is a little harder to see that. A little harder to to see why that, along with the sports and the activities and the clubs, might have lasting value. Uh, but this encounter um, that my boys had with the woman and her dog that um, summoned the, the deepest um, aspects of compassion that they were already feeling and also challenged them a little bit to think about how they can be difference makers in the world, how they can make the world look a little bit more like what Jesus wants. That may not be something they can put on a resume, but that is something that um, shapes their lives in ways that are incredibly valuable to me.
So yeah, sometimes they grumble and sometimes they aren't paying all that much attention, it may seem. And sometimes you wonder, you know, is this worth the struggle? Last night, they got a chance to taste and see that the Lord is good in a way that I alone couldn't provide. Um, but the wider church certainly could. And I'm so grateful for that woman who was able to affirm the role of the church in her life, their participation in it, and help us to taste and see the goodness of God. Hope that helps you if you happen to be one of those people that is in the sometimes weekly struggle of um, getting the kids to church or the grandkids and um, know that we are in this together and um, it will be worthwhile. Taste and see that the Lord is good.